Okay, so listen, let's talk about consent, right? Usually, for some reason in the past, I don't know, a few years, it's been uh, linked to the um, to sex. But let me give you, let me let me just break this down for you because you need to understand the root meaning or the original meaning of the word consent. Yeah. So let's get into this. Yeah, because we are not fucking about tonight. All right. So consent, yeah, in terms of there's the verb and there's the noun, yeah. Let's talk about the verb. So it the verb of the word consent actually means agree, give assent, yield when one has the right, power, or will to oppose, yeah. And the noun consent is approval voluntary acceptance of what is done or proposed yeah or also agreement in sentiment unity in opinion yeah so that doesn't just mean when it comes to sex state in a relationships it actually also means in every other area of your life yeah but let's talk about sex state in a relationship now the problem is there is a confusion here yeah, because naturally, men in general, with dominant, with dominant people, you see what I mean? Even if you don't learn the traits and the, all that stuff there, you don't really know it to, to a high degree. But naturally, with dominant people, we, we take, do you understand? Now, it doesn't have to be by force, but we take. Yeah, when it comes to, um, this is why I recommend that. Most guys, not even most guys, this is why I recommend, recommend that guys actually learn how to develop themselves as a thoroughbred alpha male because when you do, you wouldn't have to, um, you know, feel the need to truly, you know, feel a way when it comes to consent because women are going to be drawn to you anyway. You see what I'm saying? And then even if you're, and when you're a, a thoroughbred alpha male, you're also on your personal mission on earth. So what happens is, because you're on your personal mission on earth, that's your priority, you're not fit like, yeah, sex is on your mind, but it's like, you're not chasing it. You're not chasing women. And listen, women as well, you know, you know what I mean? There's, there's times where women try and trap a man in it with a baby and that, but Get me, if you said you don't want a child and you, you're now fasting up yourself to do certain things and you know what I mean? Like it's mad, it's mad. Um, so again, that's that's where another part of consent comes into it. And if you're a pure feminine woman, yeah, which is what I recommend women to develop those natural traits within you is just when you, when you are a pure feminine woman, naturally what's going to happen is, do you understand? Like you're, you wouldn't have to trick or all, do all that stuff to get a man to do what you want in terms of having a baby and all that stuff there. Like, things will just flow naturally. Do you understand? And the same thing goes for guys. It's like, when you develop yourself as a firebred alpha male, you don't have to worry about whether she's going to give you some pussy or not. Like, she will give her up. Like, naturally, she will be... Like, she... Listen, yeah? All I'm saying is, yeah... You can experience that for yourself. You ain't got to chase. You ain't got to... Because the one thing I realised as well, right? In fact, fuck it. It's a, I'll do it for another video. But, back on the, on, the, on, the, on the topic of consent. Let me tell you a quick story. Or two stories, yeah? To do with consent. Um, yeah, they're in, they're in order of how, how it actually happened. Cause the first time, I wasn't really aware of the consent and the relation of sex and all that stuff there. But with one woman now, what happened was, she came over, going through the process, and then what happened was like, raw. Like, I saw her facial expressions, and she was not on it. She Now, she didn't say no, but her facial expressions told me she wasn't on it. So I was like... I know sometimes in fit, like when you're in a state of shock or a state of fear, yeah, like I wasn't forceful or anything, but like, like forceful, I wasn't or anything like that, as far as I know. 
And because I felt like she was on it anyway, but then when I saw her facial expressions properly, I was like, yeah, this ain't happening. So I just stopped. I let her, like, I said, yeah, this ain't happening. I could tell you're not on it. I said, San Colondo's like, I could tell you're not on it, so let's not do this. Do you know, you know what I mean? Because I know about repercussions, I know about consequences. Do you understand? And in the back of my mind as well, it's like, not even in the back of my mind, in, in fact, yeah, technically, in the back of my mind, you know when you can hear when your, your, when your parents tell you something, right? And you can still hear it later on when you do something, because like, do you see what I mean? You can, you can hear them. Like, leave your answer in the comment section below if you've experienced that, where you've, you, you're about to do something, and then you can hear your parents just telling you something that, you know what I mean? And they're not, fuck it. Let me go back to the story. But yeah, like, because my first one told me something along the lines of if a woman says no, then, she, you know, don't proceed or something like that. I can't remember the full, the full thing. So, in a way, that helped me not to proceed. But what's mad is this same woman, a few months later, she the one that got back in contact with me, yeah? And then I asked her, because it was playing in my mind, so I was like, I asked her, if I had proceeded, no, no, I said, did you want me to proceed, blah, 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 something like, something along those lines. And she want, and she said she more or less wanted me to proceed, like, she didn't want me to stop. Do you see what I mean? So this is, this is why it gets a bit tricky, because there's a thin line between no and no. There's a thin line between no and no, because no could mean yes. It's fucking mad. Like, I know it's fucking mad. And I know there's enough guys that go through that process because it's like, it's it's a mind fuck. Because if you say no, I mean, if she says no, it, it's a thing of, and then you, you accept that no. What happens is, she, actually, there's a high chance that she's going to find you less attractive. Yeah? Like, your sexual market value will fucking drop when it comes to her. In the back of my mind, I knew that. So I ditched that. Do you see what I mean? Only for her to come back around to call me and all that stuff there. But, you know, it is what it is. And so, yeah, it was just, it's just interesting. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Because if I had proceeded like she wanted me to, according to her, then she would still see me as that guy that strong dominant guy i guess i don't, I don't know but like, it's so fucking mad but anyway the other story i'm going to tell you was to do with it's again to do with consent this is with a different woman and um she because i was hearing about this consent i thought let me just experiment me i like to experiment now and again when it comes to certain things in it yeah and let me take that back in fact, I like to discover, yeah, um, when it comes, when I hear something, for example, like consent, all this stuff there, I like to experiment and see, let me do my own experiment. Let me be, you know, the person to go through the process and see what happens, yeah? Whatever happens, there's plenty more women in the sea and well, there's plenty more women on the earth, which is facts. But, so yeah, with her now, she come over. And then, like, I started, I think I was talking about it as well with her. And uh, I can't remember what's, what her views were on it. But anyway, and then I started to ask her questions, I started to ask her questions and all that stuff there pertaining to, uh, uh, do you mind or, I can't, remember if, I can't even remember the questions I was asking. To me, it just, it didn't feel right. It didn't feel normal. So I was like, all right, cool. But nothing happened between me and her. Nothing happened. And I'm fucking pissed off. No, I'm not pissed off. But yeah, nothing happened, innit? So I was like, alright, cool. So I, I understand this consent shit is bullshit. That was my perspective. From, from that moment on, I'd like this consent shit, consent shit when it comes to sex or whatever, like it's fucking bullshit. Then now I've done more research and I understand. And I've under what I've understood is when you develop yourself as an alpha male, yeah, a far alpha male, if you're a man watching this, you wouldn't, ha and 
and you're on your personal mission on earth, aka your purpose, you wouldn't have to chase women for sex. Like, they will come to you. They will literally come to you. Literally. Why do you think, yeah, that the most popular guys, yeah, or the most um, celebrities and all that stuff there, like, I swear even flipping, um, was it Drake? And um, one um, porn star, I forgot her name, or ex porn star, was it? Oh, who was it? But he ended up dissing her, and I was like, what the fuck, how's he dissing her like that? But it's like, she is more or less in a position of chasing him. Do you understand? But he's turning her down. Now, I don't know if he still hit, I don't know if he hit that or not, but if he did, good on you, Drake. If not, it's what it is. But like, This is my thing about life. It's like, or when it comes to dating and relationships, when you're a man, it's it's per, it's perceived that oh, a man should be chasing women, all that stuff there, but it's not the case. It's not the case. And if you're a man watching this, you know that that don't work, because you either come as a, come across as a perv or a creep. You understand? And then. With this whole consensus that's happening, you can't tell. But when it's a woman that is highly attracted to you, and you're just on your purpose, and you're just doing whatever the fuck you need to do, and she coming towards you, you ain't got to worry about, about all that bullshit. You wouldn't have to worry. Because it's evident that she's on it. Like, completely evident. But, and for women... This is what I say. Let's develop yourself as a pure feminine woman. Alright? Because when you develop yourself as a pure feminine woman, again, this is the other thing. Let's not act like women do things that are that guys do not consent to, like give a man a baby when he said he said he didn't want a baby. Let's not act like that doesn't happen. Let's not act like, you know, when it comes to certain situations, like this is what I mean. As a woman, you just need to develop yourself as a pure feminine woman and you'll be able to get what you want or you need from that guy. And yeah. And then also, the other thing I'm going to mention as well, let's not act stupid here, right? As a human being, naturally, humans want to have sex. Naturally. Especially if you're eating the right foods, right? You naturally want to have sex. Because you naturally you're supposed to be replenishing the earth anyway, right? And you should know by now, like women are not stupid. Like you women are not stupid. Women know guys wanna have sex. So if you're going to his house, yeah you may say, Oh, it doesn't just because I go to his house doesn't mean I should have sex with him. But moral of the story is if you go to his house, you already know what a man wants anyway. So why the fuck would you fast up yourself to go to his house and not expect that you're going to not have sex? Do you know how dumb that is? Like, accountability. Accountability. Say it with me. Accountability. Account. Like, I want you... To leave your answer in the com leave your answer in the comment section below, yeah? And just type accountability if you're a woman. Type accountability. In fact, let's do it like a school. You know when you're in det detention and they make you write that 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 word thing. Just put I am accountable for my actions. Look, this is not victim blaming, because shit, like I said, men Go through the process too, but when it comes to when, when it comes to you know house going to someone else going to a man's house, and you know you're a woman, do you understand? You know he wants to have sex. Men know women want money. Do you see what I mean? So it's just it's 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 just stupid 
yeah and i'm going to use the word stupid yeah it's stupid to go to a, a man's house and expect that you're not gonna that he's not gonna have sex with you or whatnot or doesn't want to have sex with you it is what it is and that's i'm just gonna keep it real with you so yeah i've gone on for a bit this is like over 15 minutes so you can tell this is a subject that needs to be talked about properly like the real truth needs to be taught so here's what you're going to do click the link in the description box below where it says become a member of the akibula trust when you do that you get access to online courses such as roles and relationships in that course right there right you're going to learn exactly how if you're a man watching this, you'll learn how to develop yourself as a firebred alpha male, plus learn how dating and relationships actually work in general, plus you understand a woman's nature, yeah, and you understand your nature as a man. And if you're a woman watching this, you will learn how to develop yourself as a pure feminine woman, and you'll learn exactly how your nature is as a woman, plus learn how dating and relationships actually work, yeah? Also, the other thing I was going to mention is, that if you're a man watching this especially, um, the course to do with career and business, that's where you're going to learn how to develop yourself and well, learn what your personalized mission on earth is, aka your purpose, so you can be on that ground, be on that purpose and do what you need to do so you ain't got to worry about thinking about chasing women or chasing pussy because that's dumb. Listen, I've been there before chasing women, chasing pussy, like I've been there before. It's not a, uh, it's not a mentality to really have, really. Like even though you can have you can weigh up the odds by speaking to a lot of women and stuff like that but the chances are you you are gonna have a um high flake rate yes you will have a high flake rate so you want a low flake rate the best option is to be in your personal ambition of you will attract those women that are for you that are, have a high level of interest in you like you will see it, it will happen it will happen yeah like you don't have to worry about shit that's 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 the problem it's like anyway but anyway if you've got any questions any topics you have for us to discuss on the videos leave that in the comment section below and remember hit the subscribe button hit the notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next